This is Amy Chapman for 12 for Puppy, and this is Pilaf. Welcome to another episode of Growing Up Guide Pub. Last week, Pilaf wasn't feeling so well. This week, she's feeling much better, and we got a really good glimpse of her personality and some behaviors that she does really well, and some that need a little bit of work. One of the most important commands that we need to teach our puppies is how to potty on command. Now, Pilaf is doing a fantastic job with it. We've only had her for a couple weeks, and she already understands to go to the bathroom when she's given the command, do your business. We got real lucky with this puppy. She really understands it and hasn't had a whole lot of accidents. What makes Pilaf so good is from day one, she almost instinctively knows how to go potty outside, which makes it really easy for us to control what she's doing. Another behavior that Pilaf has picked up in the short amount of time that we've had her is she's learned to sit on command and also wait to be told when it's okay for her to eat. We already have it down that when I rake out her food bowl that she sits and I can put the food down and she waits until I give her the release command of okay before she goes and starts eating. In the beginning, Pilaf had really good manners with our kitty cats. She was nice and calm around them, would just sniff them and just basically hang out with them. And it seemed to be going really well. But that might have had something to do with the fact that she wasn't feeling so well the first couple days we had her. And now that she's feeling a little bit better, whenever the cats have any fast movements, it seems to set her off to want to chase them and now she's even barking at them. When Matt shot this, Oliver jumped out of the kitchen into the other room and knocked over the water bowl that we had set up for Ricky and Eli. One big issue that we're currently working on Pilaf with right now is her mouthiness. She wants to bite everything. Doesn't matter what it is. It can be a person, the other dogs, Matt's camera, the wall, furniture. She seems to want to chew on almost anything but her toys. Now we've been trying to redirect this behavior by putting toys in her mouth, toys that she should be chewing on rather than say my arm. Now this helps a little bit and she does chew on them at times, but in other times she just wants to chew on whatever else is close by her and for some reason doesn't show a whole lot of interest in these toys. Another problem is the fact that we have two other dogs. Now Ricky and Eli seem to be nice and calm with Pilaf, but at times Pilaf is really excited and does a whole lot of biting on them, which they're very tolerant about it, but it's really not a behavior we want Pilaf to have. So we've been doing a whole lot of work with Pilaf and we've been given permission to use a food reward with her to keep her from biting on people and the other dogs. So she's slowly getting better, but it's gonna require a lot of work. So. When she's nice and calm with Ricky by my side, she gets a little bit of a food reward and Ricky gets some food too, just for being very tolerant. So when Pilaf's a more relaxed puppy, we can actually introduce her and have her hanging out with Ricky and Eli. So Pilaf is fine to sit with Ricky and Eli when she's nice and calm, but when she has a lot of energy and she just needs to get it out, she's got her own puppy play area. We're keeping her separated from Ricky and Eli when she's in these moods so she can get her energy out in an appropriate manner and play with her toys and run around without the distraction of Ricky and Eli there because when they're there, she just tends to take her energy out on them and that's really not a behavior we want. So Pilaf seems to be a very smart puppy. She picks up commands and behaviors really quickly so that's actually a really good thing. Now, we have seen that we have a few behaviors we need to fix, and a lot of that has to do with the other dogs and some of the distractions with the cats. So we've been working very closely with our puppy group leaders and our community field rep who's employed by Guide Dogs for the Line to help us fix some of these unwanted behaviors. So keep watching and we'll keep you posted on how we do with her development.